Hello, and welcome to the Burson Marsteller Evidence Based Presentation PR Measurement Hints and Tips. Today we are going to discuss key current issues in PR measurement, specifically overcoming objections to investing in PR research and measurement, avoiding common PR measurement mistakes, and the benefits of using an evidence based approach to communications. Everyone wants research and measurement, but there's often a resistance to investing in these activities. So what are some strategies to overcome objections about investing in PR research? The first tactic is to ask questions. By asking questions, senior management will begin to realize how little they know about their target audience and how much they need to learn. For example, how much is the target audience using social media? What messages are having an influence on their perceptions? What channels are most effective at generating a dialogue? Which brings me to the second point, which is make research their idea. Often by asking the right questions, decision makers realize on their own that research is necessary to develop a strategic, well-informed communications program. Third, get them excited with sample research. By pulling together some existing secondary research, decision makers will begin to see how data increases their understanding of their stakeholders, and it highlights the need to do targeted research to develop their own well-informed communications program. Lastly, sharing cases about how research has effectively informed programs in the past will prove how research investment drives ROI in communications programs. How do we avoid common measurement mistakes? First, set measurable objectives at the beginning of the communications program. Too often the objective of the program is to develop a social media strategy or launch a CSR program, but neither of these tactics is measurable. An example of a measurable objective is to develop a dialogue with stakeholders through a social media program. In this case, you can measure the volume of dialogue between the organization and its stakeholders, as well as the tone and quality of the conversations online. The second pitfall is to measure the program tactics, but not how the program drives the organization's broader metrics. Considering the social media example, you would not only want to measure the number of followers, but also track the changes in perception and the company reputation based on the online dialogue. You can also try to track the impact of a social media dialogue on referrals, customer loyalty, and even business leads. That is the most powerful way to prove the value of PR. Lastly, we all know to measure the effectiveness at the end of a communications program, but it's also important to establish benchmarks at the beginning and to take pulse point measures throughout. Then you can course correct in the middle of the program without waiting until the end to realize certain tactics are not working. At Burson Marsteller, we developed an evidence-based communications approach to help avoid these research and measurement pitfalls. At the beginning of the program, when the strategy and tactics are being developed, we use insights to ensure that all components of the program are justified by evidence, not by guesswork. Then, we take measurements during the program to make sure that everything is on track. We take a final measurement at the end of the program to determine the ultimate ROI, and we always try to tie the measurements back to the organization's broad business objectives. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions about this presentation or Burson Marsteller's evidence-based approach, feel free to contact me at ashley.weldy at bm.com. Thank you again for your time.